Hey, what's up guys? My name is Ilyas and this is your 40 second tutorial. And in this tutorial we want to make the search function work. Well, right now it doesn't work as you see. So uh, let's just go ahead and make it work. Um, first, we have to uh, set this input's ID to something. So I'll just name it search so we can track it. And then I would like you guys to go to the script.js document and create a new selector on the search which we just created search and the event we are going to work with is key press so when the key is pressed on the search the following code should run and you just type function so on here we can let our magic happen just create some space so the first thing we have to do we have to store the current search query so pretty much the current content of this uh, search box so just create a variable, I call it current uh, query, query, like jQuery, and set it equal to um, the search.val. So what is search.val means is just basically the value of the search box. And you can actually replace the search by this, but then it gets like less understandable. So uh, we want to write the code which is very understandable. And then we, we have to compare this search query with all the list elements, with all these list elements. And you remember once we used this function to loop through all the elements, which was this um, each function. So we just go ahead and say portfolio li dot each, which will just automatically loop through all this li uh, elements for us. So um, we can just go ahead and store the current the current elements, the current elements uh, keyword. So uh, let's just create a variable and just I'll just call it current current keyword and set it equal to uh, this dot attribute and the attribute's name is data keywords. So I'll just copy that and paste it right here. So now we just basically loops through all these elements and uh, sequentially uh, fetch this beach, castle, palace, white house, church and stuff. So this is what, what we are going to do and uh, then we need to compare the two queries of course. We need to check if, uh, in, in, in our member in uh, one of the tutorials on chatbot we had this uh, built-in function called index so uh, just in, in our case we are searching for query in the keyword and so th there will be key current keyword dot index of and here in this brackets we uh, just type the text which we are looking for and we're looking for the current query so we're looking for the user input in this keyword and it should, it should be uh, less or greater or equal than zero. So uh, of course we need to uh, create an if statement for it. So if it less or equal than zero or to zero, that means that we uh, actually found this uh, the search criteria, the search query in the keyword in one of the elements, and we can just go ahead and display that on the screen. So I'll just say this dot show. But before we show this element, we make sure we hide the rest. So basically when I start typing uh, my request, I want first the elements to be hidden. So uh, I'll just go ahead and copy the selector and just say hide. Just hide all list entries first. So uh, I think this code should work and now let's just go ahead and test it. Um, I know that this picture has a keyword nature but oh, it doesn't have a keyword it's it's a beach actually beach yep it works and one of the pictures has a keyword of white house or something yep and one of the key uh, one of the pictures has a keyword of water and we actually found this water and this is how simply you can create a search uh, using jQuery so how you do that? You just store your query to a variable, you hide all the all the elements, and then you loop through each element 
and you compare the search query with the keyword. So you're just looking, you're just pretty much looking for your query in this keyword, and if it's there, you can show this element. But uh, right now, of course, um, we have a problem that when I type something like nature, like I don't know, beach, and then I just um, erase this beach search search query, I'm not going back to the previous state. So this is something we want to do in the next tutorial. So I hope you guys had fun uh, making this search with me. So uh, in the next tutorial, we'll just finish this search functionality and then we are done with this portfolio. So I hope you guys uh, like this tutorial and I'll see you guys in the next one.